Hello, chemistry students. This is Professor Sean McMahon with a video on how to use your active homework to draw Lewis dot structures. So one of the students had brought up that uh, this homework is due and we can see right here, it says draw the Lewis structure for carbon dioxide CO2. So I just pulled one of my slides from my PowerPoint showing the Lewis dot structure for CO2, formaldehyde and methane. And I'm going to show you how you could use the active homework assignment to draw these Lewis structures. So the first thing is we're going to focus on CO2. And when I click, I automatically see two basically ball and stick models, right? So we know that CO2 has three atoms and the central atom is carbon. So what I can do is I can click on this central atom and I can show that there's actually two bonds, right? Because the carbon has two oxygens attached. The next thing is I can click onto the carbon and I can change that element using the periodic table and just click C to show the elemental symbol carbon. Now for the uh, terminal atoms, I can click where it says change element, go here, change that to an oxygen and do the same on this side. Click there, change it to oxygen. Now the next thing that I need to do is I need to add the lone pairs for the oxygens over here. So I can click onto the elemental symbol of oxygen and I can increase the number of electrons up to four. And that's because it has two lone pairs. And I can do the same thing on this side, click it and go up to two lone pairs. Now to figure out the number of bonds, currently right here, if I click on this bond, it's showing that I have a single bond. I want to make sure it has a double bond. So I go and I bring it up to a double. If I wanted to put a triple, it would be incorrect, but I could go up to a triple bond. Okay, so I do that. Then I click on this, I make it a double bond as well. And there you have it. I have my carbon dioxide. What I like about the active chemistry, it shows the linear geometry as well. So it shows the 180 degree angle, and when I have two groups attached to a central atom, it has a linear geometry. Now, even though this is asking for CO2, I can show you, let's say for formaldehyde, what I can do for formaldehyde is I can click back here, drop that down to a single uh, bond. I'm gonna change this element. First, I'm gonna get rid of the electrons because this is gonna actually be a hydrogen. Go over here, make that a hydrogen. I'm gonna click on the carbon, and right now I have two bonds. I'm gonna attach three things to it. And now this third group, I need to make it as another hydrogen. So I click on the element, and I make it a hydrogen. And now I have my formaldehyde. And again, what I like about the active program is this formaldehyde, because it has three electron groups, it's showing this trigonal planar arrangement and the rough angle of 120 degrees, unlike the linear at 180. Last but not least, if I wanted to draw the structure of methane. So I have two hydrogens, I need two more. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna click on this oxygen, get rid of the lone pairs, click on the bonds, I'm gonna have a single bond, click on the central atom, and I'm gonna add one more atom attached. And we can already see, because I have four groups, one, two, three, four, it's taking on this tetrahedral arrangement and trying to show the three-dimensional structure with the bond angle of 109.5. Now, obviously, I have to go back in here. If I did that, and I would change you know, this to hydrogen, and I would change this element to hydrogen, and I'd be done. And then you could easily, if you wanted, let's say you wanted to make this hydrogen uh, chlorine, you could click on this, change the elemental symbol again, make it chlorine, and then you could click on chlorine and add your three lone pairs by adding six electrons. So I hope this video helps you understand how to draw Lewis dot structures using the Active Chemistry website. And also, even though you're just doing the Lewis dot structure, how the active program actually helps you see the three-dimensional shape and understand the bond angles with the different um, geometries.
So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.